Then what I want you to understand is now the next 20 minutes are this till now it's just gyan. The next 20 minutes is what I want you to concentrate on 20-25 minutes very very seriously. You need to figure out how bad you are. You need to figure out how good you are. But tell me something. You have been preparing for six months, three months, nine months, 12 months, two years, one month, whatever. Whatever you prepare, I think you need to take stock for especially the last five mocks. That's why I call it the moving five mock moving average. Now, here is what I mean by that. You will get this information in the drill down analysis. You need to put in some effort, of course. But you can put in this effort. Five mock moving averages. So that means to say there is no point in looking at all the mocks that you have done in the past. For example, if I am talking about 29th of October today, I will look at the last five mocks that I have taken and look at my averages. Let's say the next mock I write, the next mock I write is on Today is what? Thursday? Let's say Sunday I write. Then on that day, that mock plus the previous four mocks, five mocks will become your average five, five marks. Now, for example, from today to December or tomorrow, let's take it, tomorrow 30th to November 13th, I'm just taking a 15-day period. In this 15 days, let's say you take five mocks. Let's say you take five mocks. The information that you can gather from these five mocks will be more important than all the things that you have done in the past. It's a very sad thing, but that's the truth. What you do now in the next 30 days is going to be far, far more relevant and important than all the months that you have done in the past. For that, I think the next 7 days, next 15 days, next 21 days and the next 28 days are going to matter. So we'll talk about that. Here is what I'm saying. Scores can change only through two interventions even today. Given where you are today, how do you plan the next 5 days, 10 days, 15 days and 30 days is very important. You need to figure out, bhai, mujhe karna kya hai? should I improve my attempts? Should I improve my accuracy? Where? Which kind of area should I work on? This is going to be important. And scores can improve only through two interventions. One is improving your attempts. The two is increasing your accuracy. I'm going to talk about both. Especially the second one. Because it's very unlikely that you can improve attempts majorly right now. Whatever experiments that you did, you should have done by now. But no problems. There is still a long way to go. 30 days to go. When I keep saying this, guys, you have no clue. 30 days is a really, really long time if you understand it. Now, here is a couple of things. If your attempts have not increased in the mocks, I am talking about when on 28th of November, you are doing an analysis or 27th of November, you're doing an analysis and looking at the last five mocks that you have done, last five mocks that you have done, your attempts will be somewhere around there itself. They won't increase in their actual cat. You know, this is the truth, whether you like it or not. Second, if your accuracy hasn't been good in mocks, don't expect that the accuracy will suddenly increase in cat. It won't. It won't. Again, I'm saying, I'm not talking about today. I'm talking about on 27th or 28th of November, when I look at my previous five mocks, those number of attempts on an average and those number of uh, accuracies or those percentage of accuracy is going to count. Is going to count. So keep that in mind very clearly. Again, I'm saying not today, but from now onwards, I will track this five mock moving averages and see what's happening and how, what is this moving average is going to come up to you in the next couple of minutes. 
so therefore any interventions that you need to do you have to do it now any changes that you need to do you have to do it now if you are already doing well you need to continue to do well so that you don't fall behind so therefore in whichever way you look at it my friends the next 30 days are going to be very very useful and to my mind and to my mind and i have seen this happen for thousands and thousands of students over the last 20 years of my training there is enough time to increase both there is enough time to increase both trust me when i'm saying this because you will have to have that not only trust the faith in yourself and in your mentor saying that yaar isne bola hai to kuch to bola hoga sahi se and that that faith can get you what you want and i am i'm not emptying it because i'm going to give you very very specific thing it's not just i think i can make it therefore i will make it types no i'm going to give you very very specific interventions which will help you to get there okay so with that let's go to the next part of what i want to say what is this five minute the next uh, screen that i'm going to show you have to see it in a big screen but still you can't see anything you can't see anything but the idea is what i want to showcase to you and this is the idea this is the idea that you have five mock moving averages you can't see it but what i am saying it is this if you look at this this is let's say mock 10 this is mock 9 this is mock 8 this is mock 7 this is mock 6 let's say the last five mocks that you have written are mock 10 9 8 7 and 6 this is the overall this is the overall this is the addition of these five this is the addition of this five make an excel sheet for yourself ideally if you can <clears throat> and what is there on the left side what is there on the left side for each area verbal rc di lr and qa i am going to showcase to you i know you can't see it i know it is very very thin but the idea is that do you have an excel sheet that you can make where you will find out exactly what is going right or wrong in everything that you do no more assumptions no more assumptions pure hard data data will give you insights which will tell you boss this is what i should do or this is what i should not not to do so this is the kind of an average that i want you to look at it for example for example look at analyzing moving averages first i will look at the overall let's say this is the mock n the one which you have written now the last one the n minus 1th mock n minus 2nd mock n minus 3rd mock n minus 4 mock this is your last five mocks let's say the total number of questions that you had was 75 65 70 75 and 70 i'm just giving you a random number of attempts that you made in each of this you will be able to find out that is information is available to you in your accuracy level in your uh, uh, mock analysis let's say out of the 355 this is the broad idea then in each paper you would have done some attempts so 53 out of 75 is 71% 43 out of 65 is 66% 52 out of 70 is 74% 60 out of 75 is 80% so this this is a random number i have picked up for a one student from one student and what i looked at it is how this student is attempting given the papers that he has got so one attempts 264 attempts out of 355 on an average therefore this gentleman is making 74% by the way i have taken a person's gentleman so there is a 64 somewhere and 71 somewhere but average is 74 that this person is attempting but that is not enough you need to also look at what is the number of corrects that one person is getting so 35 31 40 32 37 over out of these things depending on what your number of questions were this also will not give you only looking at attempts corrects will not help you you need to look at accuracy percentage so 66% 72% 77% so accuracy percentage he is gone gone down then up and up and again a little down 
this seesaw battle will happen this seesaw battle will happen till the last day you need to figure out where you are at heading and these are the net marks somebody attempt 71% and gets two thirds correct will get a 39% net marks which is what is coming down to here somebody attempts 80% of the questions and gets about 50% correct the net marks are going to be 30% somebody attempts 80% and gets two thirds correct the overall net marks will be 44% can you understand can you understand by just intervening in your accuracy you can increase your percentage net marks but more than anything else you need to look at your five averages and let's say you can come down saying that boss on an average i am attempting 74 75% questions and i am getting only two thirds correct a overall but this if you get it you will get a 95 percentile on a good day you will get a 99 percentile on a bad day you will still get okay on a bad day you will get an 80 um, 85 percentile on a very bad day you will get an 85 percentile on a very good day you will get a 99 percentile but on an average day you will get a 95 percentile you will be able to see this numbers you will be able to see this analysis very very specifically i i'm i'm looking at percentages not even percentiles do this make an excel sheet for yourself see this is what when you make for five mocks and every time you keep adding the last five last five add one column here shift this four by shift these four to next and add this five so you will keep getting the last five last five last five when this will be a constant thing by the way you will have to use a lot of excel when you go to mba i'm sure this is the best way to start off your learning of it it will take you not more than an hour hour and a half to work on this please do it is what i would say this information i will anyway put it across on um the aspiration tomorrow now once you analyze you need to now this is the overall analysis but overall analysis will give you nothing overall analysis will give you boss mota moti kya hone wala hai what is it going to happen you need to go drill down into each of the single areas to be able to make some interventions in each of these things